Hi everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul. Today we have a special guest. This is John from the AMD Fire Pro team and thank you very much for stopping by today, John. Thanks for having me, Paul. What he, we are here to talk about, and John is going to give us more information on, is a new AMD Fire Pro workstation graphics card and uh, specifically a, an entire line of workstation graphics card that is yet to come, but this is the first in the series. And um, just since uh, a lot of our viewers out there um, may be more familiar with gaming graphics cards, but also maybe have some familiarity with uh, professional graphics cards such as this one right here, let's start out from the basics and talk about some of the differences between the two. I do have a, uh, a visual aid right here, and this is a 7950. So this is a Southern Islands GPU uh, that's integrated in here. and. Um, just to start off on a, on a good note, you were mentioning earlier, uh, it takes a little bit longer for the Fire Pro cards to come out that are based on the same GPU architecture. Um, why, why is that? So that's correct. Typically what happens is the consumer grade cards come out uh, on the same architecture ahead of the Fire Pro professional grade cards. And the reason for that is because the ISV team is, is working in the meantime uh, establishing the certifications required for the various different professional level applications that run on the professional cards. Um, and so this is the first of the series of Southern Islands cards that AMD Fire Pro is releasing. This is a, mul a multi-view card um, based on the Southern Islands architecture. And uh, right now, one of these the W600 cards is currently running all six of these monitors on the system that's back there behind it. And I also must congratulate you on bringing the most monitors that anyone has ever brought to the New Egg TV studios. Thank you. If you guys want a lot of workspace, that's the way to do it. <laughs> um, so let's uh, talk a little bit more about the series of cards. Again, Southern Islands is the GPU uh, architecture, the code name for the GPU architecture that uh, AMD has developed. It is 28 nanometer, if I'm correct. correct. And um, that has been implemented in the Radeon series for gaming and uh, with the Fire Pro series. Uh, and this is the W600. Um, so the W, we haven't seen before. We, we, we have done some, some V series cards. We mm -hmm. did the V4900 and 5900. Um, what is, what's the deal with the W? Sure, so the naming convention is new for the Southern Islands cards. Uh, with the Northern Islands, which is the previous generation, um, the cards were named with a V. Mm -hmm. um, this is, uh, the new naming convention for the Southern Islands cards is going to be W for workstation and S for server. That makes a whole lot of sense, I have to say. So if you want a workstation card, uh, W600 uh, server series cards will have an S at the beginning, and um, I, those are forthcoming. Correct. Okay, and um, then of course if you want gaming, uh, go with the Radeon series, but that's not what this video is about. So um, W600, based on the uh, Southern Islands architecture, 28 nanometer, um, and that brings some benefits to the table. So um, what, what are some of those benefits? Sure, so the 28 nanometer process technology basically allows the chip to run more efficiently, you can pack more transistors into the same space and thereby increase the performance of the, of the card in the same uh, TDP. Uh, or the power envelope that that card has been designed for. Um, the Southern Islands architecture, which includes this, this card as well, uh, runs on PCIe 3.0 uh, bus, as well as uh, brings to the table new enhancements uh, over previous generations, such as enhanced power tune, enhanced geometry boost. Um, we have a new technology on the chip itself called Zero Core that allows the, ch the uh, when the displays go to sleep, the, basically the GPU will just about shut down completely. It runs at three watt idle state which saves power. Um, we also, the card also provides higher resolution uh, SLS or uh, single large surface resolutions um, over previous generation. And then we, another feature that uh, Southern Islands brings to the table is projector overlap capability. Okay, and um, that is specifically useful. Uh, we were mentioning earlier with um, a lot of actual large format displays, like for instance, that you'd see in maybe a shopping mall or like a large event um, where you have something like this, where you have six panels or 12 panels or even more, um, all displaying content, and you can drive those all with this card, which is um, not only a, about a mid-range um, actual workstation graphics card, but also has six uh, display port outs on Correct. the same card. Um, all of which can drive that high resolution. Correct. So this is this introduces sort of a hybrid technology to the marketplace for both multi-view uh, display solutions as well as workstation uh, graphics. Um, because uh, whereas our, our portfolio of cards for multi-view are typically around 15 watt uh, power consuming, this is a 75 watt card, so it delivers a lot of 3D performance based on the new uh, Southern Islands architecture. Um, 
So as well, uh, we, it also uh, provides up to 4K by 2K resolution on each one of the display ports. This particular card has six mini display ports on the back. So you see this display setup. We have um, three by two display, six displays. Um, every one of these displays is basically connected just the, to the one uh, W600 uh, graphics Fire Pro card. Okay, and um, you're mentioning projectors and that 4K mm -hmm. by 2K resolution. Is that something that's used uh, frequently in the uh, advertising space? Correct. So projector, uh, the new projectors that are coming out to the market are 4K by 2K more typically. Um, this card can basically drive uh, those projectors directly off the mini display port uh, because it does support up to the 4K by 2K resolution on e each one of the display ports. And additionally, as I mentioned, it has the projector overlap technology, which allows you to blend the projector uh, images into one seamless uh, canvas. So if you can imagine that we have six displays right now, these are 24 inch, uh, you could effectively do something similar, cover a massive wall or something with the projected Absolutely. images. And then you also have that uh, overlap so you can actually provide a more seamless image for all of them. Correct. And the nice thing about a solution like this is that it's a, a very small card actually. It's a, a full height but half length. Again, 75 watt power envelope. Um, so it's a very dense solution in terms of how many um, displays you can run off of one card. So if you need more than six displays, maybe you need 12 displays, you can actually run two or more of these cards in the same uh, workstation chassis uh, and then sync them together with like an S400 uh, synchronization board to get more uh, screen real estate. Okay, and um, you make a good point there, but uh, why, don't we, uh, why don't we take a look inside the box, show folks the card itself, because it does have a lot of power in a very small form factor. Sounds good. All right. So inside the box, we have the graphics card. That's about all. <laughs> but here it is, the W600. So by, uh, by virtue of the 28 nanometer architecture, the Southern Islands uh, architecture and the, and the graphics core that's in there, um, uses less power. And therefore, the 75 watts that's provided from the PCI Express bus is all this power needs in order to run properly, as you notice, there are no additional power plugs needed. Um, so not only that, but of course, with just a single single slot card, uh, you have six mini display port outs right there. And um, I understand there is a, a, a separate uh, package you can buy that will actually give you adapter dongles for all of these? Correct. So with this card, uh, the release is a little different. The packaging is a little different. Um, the cables themselves are actually available as a separate in a, as a separate SKU. Okay. And the reason for that is because there's so many dongles and the configuration av available uh, uh, with this card with so many uh, connections on the back, um, it, it gives the consumers basically an option uh, to order the dongles that they need for that card. So if you've already got them, no need to uh, pay extra for them and have, have more of them. You can, or if you do need them, you can purchase them separately, of course. Um, now this is a W600. Uh, are there intended to be additional cards, I would imagine? Um, coming out in the uh, W series line based on Southern Islands? Yes, absolutely. So this is the first of a series of Southern Islands cards uh, based on the Southern Islands architecture uh, the, uh, of FirePro graphics that's going to be coming out uh, in the near future. Okay, and um, going back to the sort of comparison between workstation cards such as this, um, especially the FirePro in particular as compared to a gaming graphics card, um, there are no third-party vendors for Fire Pro Series graphics cards. They're all designed and manufactured by AMD? Correct. So uh, with the consumer grade um, Radeon cards, you'll find you know, the various different manufacturers uh, manufacturing them. And they all support, they all provide different support structures mm. um, around the cards and, and marketing activities and things like that. With Fire Pro graphics, um, you'll always find it branded by AMD because AMD basically uh, owns the manufacturing processes and the materials that go into the card in order to ensure that the certifications that are provided along with the card and the reliability uh, of the card are, are insured. Okay, and that uh, also gives you direct support from AMD if you uh, have any questions about making use of the card? Correct. All right. Uh, now, another thing to mention, John, uh, right now we're looking at sort of a slideshow right here. Um, and uh, one other thing that people might want to do is actually to display video. Uh, when you're displaying HD video, there's some, uh, some GPU workload that's established there. Uh, what is this card actually capable of if you wanted to, say, for instance, be showing video streams? Right. That's a new feature available on the Southern Islands architecture in this card is basically dual HD video decoding capability. So you can run two HD streams 
uh, on the same card at the same time. Okay, and that would be 1920 by 1080? Uh, correct. All right. HD. Now, um, what we're looking at here, for example, uh, we already sh said uh, we got six monitors. They're all running off of a single W600 card. And um, this is just sort of an example of uh, maybe a use case that some folks might want to uh, do uh, setting up with this card, particularly for digital signage um, for in you know, a trade show environment for, um, say, you have a restaurant and you want to show actual uh, images up there rather than just having um, printed um, information. Um, so what, what exactly are we looking at right now? How have you configured this? Sure. So we have a six display setup and three by two configuration. Um, the first two displays here on your left are actually just extended individual displays. And then this is actually a two by two a single large surface display, okay. um, which is configured inside the Catalyst Control Center Pro interface, which is very easy to use and very easy to set up. Um, you might imagine that each one of these is a projector, and one of the features that we talked about uh, is available in the, the SI tech, uh, architecture is uh, projector overlap. So mm -hmm. we can do um, overlap, over, overlapping projectors on an SLS configuration, um, or we can do bezel compensation, which um, this SLS configuration here, we have a, actually applied bezel compensation to this. So it just sort of gives you a more seamless image. Uh, in this particular instance, of course, we have monitors with slightly thicker bezels. So uh, it does sort of, uh, you, can, you can see the gap in between, which is compensated by that overlap. Um, of course, if you were using projectors, you could set those up so that it would provide almost a seamless display um, of actually four images knitted together. Correct. Okay. Uh, so we mentioned, for instance, trade shows, uh, something like that, where you need to project a large high-definition image um, so that you draw attention of uh, you know, folks who might be viewing the image. Uh, what are some other use case scenarios that folks might be interested in? Um, so because of the flexibility that this card brings to market with six mini display ports on a single card, uh, you know, there, are, there are a bunch of different market segments that this card directly applies to, so including you know, advertising or point-of-sale solutions, um, command and control centers, uh, operation centers, um, as well as uh, restaurant menu systems uh, for displaying menus in, in real time and being able to update those in real time on digital screens, um, as well as uh, surveillance and security is another market for the, for the card. Okay, and uh, as this is a Fire Pro line, this is a professional graphics card, and uh, I know you guys are really proud of um, all of the particular iFinity displays set up. Um, as a actual workstation graphics card, uh, this sort of falls in the mid-range. Um, you guys have some more entry-level cards below this. You're also going to have some more powerful GPU, com parts com GPU compute parts um, coming out above the W600 in the line. Um, but this is still can hold its own as sort of a mid-level uh, mid workstation graphics card. Absolutely. And uh, the reason for that is because it does have a 75-watt power envelope, which allows, especially on the Southern Islands architecture with the 28 nanometer process technology, to perform really well for 3D applications, both in DirectX and OpenGL. Mm -hmm. The card also provides two gig frame buffer, um, and that's run on GDDR5 uh, memory. So that provides uh, the highest bandwidth available uh, for memory bandwidth. Okay, so um, definitely some uh, great applications as far as everything we've been mentioning so far, but also if you are looking to set up a workstation, of course, perfectly capable in that respect. Absolutely. Well, I think that just about covers it for um, everything that we wanted to talk about with the W600. Um, you, again, there will be more uh, cards coming out in both the W series for workstations as well as S series uh, for servers from the AMD Fire Pro team. I uh, just so wanted to say a big thank you again to John for stopping by, setting up all of these monitors. It, it did take a little bit of work. Um, so thanks for all of the, <laughs> all the hard work on that. Uh, also, thanks for bringing the card by, and I uh, hope to see you again soon. Thanks again for having me, Paul. All right. Uh, thanks to all of you for watching. If you'd like to see more, you can head over to our Newegg TV YouTube channel, and we'll see you all next time on Newegg TV.